Hey guys, my name is Nintendo Kumano and today I decided that I'll be telling the story of how I made it to medicine. Right, so I'm currently studying medicine at the University of Pretoria and I just felt like um, I could share the story of how I uh, made it to medicine. So this was a story that was filled with ups and downs, right, and I think to me it was testament that really God can move for a person, you know, so I felt like it's interesting to share it and it might be a form of motivation to some people who are looking to get into medicine. Right, so I'm going to start from when I matriculated. So I matriculate, uh, uh, I matriculate and then uh, all varsities I've applied to that rejected me, right? So I'm there, I'm watching uh, people I know, friends, people are going to Joburg, people are going to Pretoria, some are even going to Cape Town. And I am there, I'm about to take a gap year, right? An unplanned gap year. So that was a bit hard for me to, to, to handle and here I was feeling a bit defeated, right? Um, feeling a bit embarrassed, right? So remember I've applied uh, to various institutions and then I get rejected in all of them. So as I get rejected, I really didn't stress same time because I, I believed that my parents were going to take me out of this maze. You know, I felt like they were going to talk to someone and, you know, I thought the talking, I thought the talking has been done. They're going to make a plan for me. So that's what I basically believed. Right? So, I'm there and one day, I remember thermogulating January, right, the next year. Uh, my parents asked me, what are you going to be doing then this year? You know, and I felt like that question really opened up my mind, right, to show me that um, I'm actually responsible for for the decisions and, and how my life turns out, you know. So I feel like maybe it came a bit late, but at least it was an eye-opener. And from that day on, I believe I became very... Um, I became very eager to work hard on myself. Right, I became very eager to, to, to take any opportunity that came my way, um, in order to reach where I wanted to go to. Right, so I always wanted to do medicine. Right, I always wanted to do medicine, and throughout this journey, it felt impossible. Right, reaching why reaching medicine felt impossible, but then, yeah, thank God we made it. So around that time, generally, cousin of mine, you know, right? So you you realize that in the story, a lot of people made it possible for me to be here, right? And if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. So my cousin, you know, texted me and said, "Hey, Andrana, what are you doing this year?" Right? So I become very, very, very uh, embarrassed. Right? I didn't wanna tell him straight off the bat that ish fit to all varsities I applied to rejected me, right? So, I told him, yeah, no, man, I'm a Tlanganisa, man. Tlanganisa, I might be going here, I might be, I'm, I'm even lying to him, I might be going here or there, but I'm a Tlanganisa. And he stops texting me for some time, and he comes back a while later, asks me the same question, Donna, what are you doing this year? And I'm like, what's the use of hiding it to him? Because... Very, very soon, I'm not going to varsity. So I tell them, no, I mean, if it's, I've been rejected in every university I've applied for. So this year, I'm not even sure as yet. Greetings of the and The guy hears this and says, okay, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a college, right? There's a college in Johannesburg. And this is a college that he went to, right? The maths teacher there and the physics teacher there. They're very good, right? So this is a college you could go to and agree to marks, okay? And I think what caught my attention about this college was that this college was in 
or is in Joburg. Right? The fact that after matric I could move out from my house was very important to me. So the moment I heard Joburg, I was more than eager at the time. Right? It will save me the embarrassment of having to stay home. I felt embarrassed that maybe I might have to stay home. So we drive there and the owner of the college now um, is busy talking with my mother and at this point really I'm not really interested in a lot of talk. I just want to be signed up, move from Midbank, come to Joburg and just give my all. right? So sign me up, the year starts. The year starts and I'm a very desperate man. And I, I, I determined that year that this will be the year whereby you really, really, really work hard, right? And I, I put in the work, put in the work, man, I put in the work, worked hard, and got some pretty good results, you know? I remember I was um, number one for physical sciences, I was number one for physical sciences in the college, won an award for physical sciences, and interestingly enough, I also won an award in English. Right? I don't know if that was number one or number two. I didn't even care because I was surprised how could I win an award in English. But I won it. And yeah, my, my marks were looking very, very great. So I remember even around that time, uh, you know, my mother started telling some people close to us that yeah no um the boy is passing well and I re I remember feeling very very um against that because I felt like me passing like this was something that was not gonna last for a long time so I remember asking her to stop telling people I didn't tell her why right so the reason why I actually wanted her to stop I felt like these great marks I'm getting are not going to be are not results that I'll get. Uh, continuously, right? It's not. It's not something I feel like I'm able to sustain. So don't tell people, and then that will be expected of me, right? Throughout my academic career, and now I can't produce such marks again. So I felt like she mustn't tell people. Fine. Um. So I'm pushing well. I'm passing well in that college, and um, I get to the end of the year. Okay, before I even get to the end of the year, right? So the, here's how the story really goes. Application time comes, right? So um, you know that uh, medicine application come up very early, right? They come up um, earlier than most other degrees or qualifications. So my plan was to go to Vets University, right? So ever since I was in high school, I had the three universities I wanted to go to, right? The top university I wanted to go to was Stellenbosch. I don't know why, I just felt like I, I loved uh, Stellenbosch University. Number two was UCT, and then number three was VIT, right? So when I saw that I'm passing like that, and I felt like you now being in Joburg would be better. So I just applied to Joburg, and I felt like the marks that I was getting uh, Vets University wouldn't reject me, right? So application time comes, and I remember I went to the labs at that college, and I tried applying, and I don't remember what, but then um, it was problematic for me to apply. It was problematic. And I remember, I think after three or four days of trying to apply, I, I called my big brother. You know, praise, and I call them up and I tell them, Dana, I'm trying to apply to a vet. I don't know what's blocking me, right? So could you please just help me um, with applications? You know, the boy agrees to help me and says he's going to apply for me. And I don't know why, I, I super emphasized to him that, boy, please apply to vets only. Please apply to vets only. The boy agrees he's going to apply to vets. Cool. I remember the, the application fee at VITS was 100 Rand and the application fee at UP was 300 Rand, right? 
So he, I asked him to ask for the 100 grand from my mother. She's just going to send it, right? We agree on that and cool. I remember a couple of days after that, my mother calls me, you know, and tells me that, yeah, no, your brother is, is applying for you. Your brother is applying for you. Um, he asked 300 grand from you right, to to pay for your application fee. So I, as soon as I as soon as I heard of the 300 grand, I knew that's the application fee for UP. So as soon as I end that call, I get in touch with my brother and Donna. Were you able to apply? He says yeah, he was able to apply. Where did you apply? And the boy says he applied at UP, right? And I remember at the time being frustrated. Today I'm so grateful that he did that. You know, I'm very, very grateful that he did that. But then I was frustrated because I emphasized to him that uh, I'm going to apply to vets and vets only. The boy agrees. Upon agreeing, he goes ahead and applies to UP. So I'm there, I'm feeling frustrated, I'm like, okay, you know what, I'm done. Just find a way to push through and apply to Evet, right? So, feeling really confident, especially with the marks that I had. I find a way, I ask for the 100 grand from my mother, I apply to, to, to Evet University, right? And by the way, I'm very grateful that, yeah, yeah, no, I'm very grateful that he, he stuck on and applied to UP. So, Vets quickly answered me, I remember, I think around about September, August, they answered me and they had rejected me, they rejected my application, right, and now I'm there feeling a bit discouraged, <laughs> I'm feeling a bit discouraged, man, like, ish. Vets was the one university I wanted to go to, you know, they accepted me for, for music, Right, to, to, to pursue a degree in music. So I remember when you're applying, um, you have a few options to choose from. So I just chose music yeah, as as a, as another option. So they reject me for medicine, they accept me for music. And I'm like, I can't go there and study music, you know. Um, but I feel like that is something I'd like to study. Right. Maybe later on in life, I think I have to study music. But for now, I was like, nah, I can't, I can't study music now. So now, I had hopes that, um, I had hopes that UP 